last year I said that I would start my sweet potatoes in January and unfortunately life happened and I still didn't get them started but this weekend is the weekend. Uh, last year I had all kinds of trouble. I, I tried starting the sweet potato slips with a couple different methods and nothing really worked for me. I tried the little toothpicks where you put the sweet potato halfway into a cup of water and let the roots grow. That didn't work. They just molded. I tried um, the other method to where you put them this way in water. The method that worked for me best last year was just putting the whole sweet potato in dirt and then it grew slips off of that. What I didn't do last year is I didn't take the slips off and then have those little slips grow roots. That's what I should have done rather than planting the whole potato in the ground. So this year I'm gonna try and still do that. Here are the containers that I'm using. <clears throat> Just recycled containers. These are salad containers. And then this I'm using as a tray. This was just for, I think, chicken. Um, so I poked some holes in the bottom of this, filled it up with just a little bit of just regular potting soil, nothing special. This is what I used last year and it worked just fine. So I'm going with that. So this is what my tray would look like. And I'm not sure exactly what, these are potatoes that I grew. These came out of my own garden. I'm just not sure entirely like which kind I should actually plant. So we're going to try both and see what happens. So I didn't clean these off, they're still dirty from growing them in my garden and taking them out. But I'm going to just put these right in the dirt, in the soil like this, and we'll see which ones grow the best starts from. So I'm just going to bury these halfway in the dirt and I'll show you the progress. Alright, so I have my sweet potatoes in these little containers. I just stuck them right into the soil. I didn't clean them off or do anything special to them, so hopefully this will work. I guess I'm just gonna use this as a learning experiment, or experience, <laughs> experiment as well. But if it doesn't work, I'm not gonna be terribly upset. I'm just gonna know that um, we'll have to buy sweet potatoes out today, or this year. Um, some of the sweet potatoes I didn't use, some of them I did use do have like these little slices in them from where I dug them up. So they're a little damaged anyway, so hopefully these will be useful. Here's what they look like. So like I said, I used re-upcycled materials. And I already watered them with nice warm water. So I just put them into the containers with as much contact about halfway into the soil. They're not really sticking up. And that's what they look like. I am going to put these on a heat mat for the next several weeks, um, probably until I need this heat mat to grow my seedlings for my other plants, but that will hopefully, with any luck, get them germinating a little bit faster and get ahead because I'm already behind. So anyway, friends, I hope this helps. Um, follow me along to see how this works out for myself. It does work out just putting the potatoes in the dirt. You just don't get as many potatoes as you would if you grew, if I grew slips. So I will link my last year's video above if you wanted to check that out. Um, and I will also link the other video that shows how many potatoes that I actually got, which is just a, a storage video to show you what is left in our storage. Thanks for watching friends. Bye-bye for now. I got no head. <laughs>